most refreshing thing about Phillipsburg Manor is how matter-of-fact they are about who did all the work around here. It wasn't the white people, that's for sure. In fact, there was even, among the slaves, they had 23 slaves in-house. They all lived in this very tiny room together. There was also an Indian woman, what really meant what they meant was a Native American woman. But then, soon after 1750, which is the time of this place, the time that they talk about, they made it illegal to have an Indian woman, a Native American woman, as a slave. So she left soon after, but she was on the records. They have a lot of records. And it's amazing the amount of work that they did as far as the flour that they milled, they had to thresh it, they had to harvest it, they had to grow it, and then they had to grind it. And there's this amazing mill house here where they would grind it. I just, we just heard about the threshing process and they said that they had to come up with four to 500 pound bags of grain every day. So they would work from morning until night, from the time the sun came up until the time the sun went down six days a week. But the shocking thing was that it was the children who would do that. And back in those days, ch childhood was defined up until the age of 10, and then you were considered an adult. So those children had free time.